Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at another tiger. And today it's the South China Tiger. And as you see here on the picture down below, it is a tiger. Mainly orange, but um, also with this white colorations. And uh, I got one. You can see here in the game, I already got one. Um... But uh, the biggest difference I can see, and I'm not, <laughs> I don't have the master degree in tigers, but for my, me, the biggest issue, uh, not issue, difference here is the ears. They are a much more puppy like. Most tigers have these half rounded ears, Mickey Mouse ears in a way. These are longer and very thin compared to other tigers that's the biggest difference i can see maybe you can see some differences i can't but let's jump right into the game here and we have our male china uh, south china tiger we're gonna place him here and uh, he's the albino then we have the bengal tiger which i feel like should be the one closest to it i'm gonna place that here then the Siberian tiger, again, it's all males to be fair. I always compare the same gender. And then we have our Maltese tiger, which video went up yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. The Maltese tiger is a very unique story. Boom. I wish I could just click some button and they would stay where I put them. But it's clearly smaller much smaller uh, here uh, the Maltese is bigger the Ch South China Tiger is smaller uh, and it has these again the ears are different here you can see what I mean with the half rounded ears these are, seem actually shorter I didn't notice that yesterday but they do not feel like the ears on the picture but i do feel a big difference here in the face the snout looks like it goes outwards uh, compared to some of the other tigers and the eyes is also very very different again here that's what the bingle here um click there so you can see it right the Siberian with the more white patches and then the Maltese. I will though go over here. See, this is the true to color variation of the Indian tiger. And the ears do look like they are longer than they are wide, which the picture afflicted. So I'm not sure if it's the coloration that makes the difference or the gender or something like that. But overall, it's a smaller tiger. Um, I, I put my point on that because when you play the game, that's the thing you would notice uh, the size of them. Because normally you would play the game out here, sometimes out here, and you wouldn't really notice much besides the size. Um, but some of you guys I know would rather look and watch the same animal close up for hours and that's also okay and that is most likely you are prone more to use mud. They are critical endangered and they are 20 left in the wild. That wasn't that many. They live in Asia, more, specific, more specifically China just like the Maltese tiger and they live in temperate biomes one of them need 705 square meters of land just gonna check up on that Bengal tiger it's the same so you have a smaller tiger but you need the same space um, South China tiger there they live from minus 4 to 28 degrees celsius and you need a great three climb proof fence 10 feet tall that's just above 
three meters, so a good chunk tall. Uh, the information here, I assume, is the same. You can have one male, one female, um, or one of each. No dominums, they are promiscuous, confident around humans, and guests should not enter the habitat. The males grow to 83 centimeters at the shoulder. That's two and a half foot, I think. Uh, and then the female, six centimeters smaller. That's just over two inches smaller. They live for around 23 years and the male weigh around 175 kilo. That's 350 pounds. And the female 115 pounds, sorry, kilo. That's uh, 230 pounds. They reach sexual maturity at age 3 and they can reproduce until they die. Uh, they give between 1 and 4 offspring every other year and they are pregnant for 3 months. They should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. And no interspecies enrichment. And the enrichment is not the same as the other tiger, so you can't just go down here and search for tiger. They have the two scratching three scratching poles, uh, scented blood sack. We have the uh, scratching uh, thingy, but only the one. We have both cardboard boxes. Then we have what was this again? A uh, fire hose ball. Then we have the blood scent marker, gl uh, glass piece. Sorry, uh, ice for icy. Ice cube? <laughs> What's it called again? Lock of ice. Uh, sorry, I know I have made these videos so long now. I should remember, but I just can't. Uh, and the sprinkler system. And then over here we have the rotating line feeder. Both pinatas. Then we have the uh, block of frozen fish. And we have the frozen blood pumpkin. And then only this underwater feeder. They do the tiger thingies over here. Uh, I'm just gonna find a South China tiger. Gonna use the female. Uh, placing her up here, she should climb down. Um, and they do also swim here. You can see it's their kids that swim down here. And they're very, very cute. Very cute. Um, but here you can see, place them in with the other tigers. It will, for me, it seems a bit off that some of them are so so much bigger and smaller than the rest of them. Um, but that's, but they are like that in real life. It's just here because my eyes want to recognize them as, as the same tiger, which they are clearly not. Um, yeah, let's get a close up. Should we look at the mommy down here? Now oh, they're going for food, probably, but we're gonna take a close up here. All right, the other way, please. Thank you. And here, I know we looked at her before, but you see here, she doesn't have as much fluff out here and she doesn't have those prominent white uh, areas on the body she still have the lighter tone down here but i don't feel like it's completely white it also on the chest here but it's more like a pale orangey yellow than it's a white it's very beautiful uh, texture wise please. It's it's a good it's not the best fur I have seen here mainly because of the stripes because stripes aren't painted on top of the fur the way fur lies stripes are on the skin and then the fur glowing growing out from those stripes become colored fur which means that the color here wouldn't be as uh, 
clean as it is, it would be more because black uh, hair strands would go out uh, out in the orange, and orange strands of hair would go in to the black. Uh, so it would be more kind of like you can see it up here. You see it here, like the wind goes this way and then they mix. So it wouldn't be such a clean cup. Though I will say, if it wasn't a tiger and it wasn't uh, striped, then this fur would look very, very well. Uh, and again, how many people play the game all the way in here? I don't think a lot would. Uh, we did take a quick look of the baby. Oh, uh, one thing I would just mention that I noticed before. This should be a white tiger. I'm not sure if the, the South China tiger have something where they become gray albinos instead of white, but it's very dark compared to other white tigers. So it's just something I would mention. I do like though they change the color of the eyes. That makes it more real to me. A lot of albinos either have these light blue or reddish colored eyes. Um, depending on the animal. So this makes it seem more real to me. Um, we have the cat swimming still. You are able to get out of the water, right? Um... There is something about that. Again, this shine is because of the water. It has some kind of dark color here, which makes the eye appear misformed. Um, which... Don't we have another one? No, I'm just letting him go over here, then he might turn to the sun. Um, there. You see here, the dark coloration here makes the eye appear from out here a little weird in, in shape. But going in here, it is the coloration. That's a choice. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't make it seem uh, unreal at all. It's just something I would like to point out. Uh, again, the fur, it's the same structure as the adult, though it seems better. Here it actually looks more blurry like the fur, especially down here, have that effect of the hair being colored. And in here you can see it very well. So the fur on the baby is actually better. It also had a few points where it didn't, where it was the same, I think I saw. Up here, you can see the line is fairly straight, but when it mixed in between these more blurry lines, then it doesn't give the same uh, feel of it being fake. So uh, yeah, overall, once again, we have a fairly good mud here, and um, I'm happy about it. So I hope you are too. You know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I will hope to see you again. I'll the com com <laughs> comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!